Greetings everybody, it is Ian Bremmer here and I am in New York City in our headquarters with your world in 60 seconds. Let's go. Is Erdogan's AK party losing support? Well, they're still above 50%. So, I mean, you know, most people would consider that pretty good, but it's two points less than they did last time around. And he's losing in all the big cities. In other words, it's increasingly uh, Trump of Turkey. Uh, that's what Erdogan's looking at. Doesn't mean he can't win again. And of course, he has better authoritarian capabilities than uh, certainly we do in major democracies, uh, but yeah, he's pretty upset about this. Are China's trade concessions enough to secure a trade deal? Um, I think they are moving in that direction. I do believe, despite the delays, we will have a significant U.S.-China deal that Trump and Xi Jinping will be able to sign in Mar-a-Lago. We're in Brexit overtime. What happens next? Oh, probably yet another delay. I suspect Theresa May uh, is not going to be there for much longer, uh, probably won't be able to get the actual Brexit deal done, but her successor probably will. We're still not quite down to the wire, which means, you know, means uh, no more Brexit yet. Is Ukraine's leading presidential contender a joke? Yeah, that's absolutely true. He is um, a comedian um, and he plays the Ukrainian president on television just in Ukraine. So you're not watching it if you're in another country. Um, but anyway, he's way out in front in the first round. Um, he has no political background or expertise and Ukraine's not the best place to try out anti-establishment candidates who don't have competence running policy. But we'll see. Looks like he's uh, probably going to be the next president. See you guys next week. Bye.